Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to the real kitchen, home to delicious food made simple. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you guys how to make these delicious dinner rolls. They are super soft, very easy to make, and you only need a couple of ingredients. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start our delicious recipe. But before I forget, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. First step, we're going to activate our yeast, add some warm milk in a bowl. You just want to make sure it's the right temperature, not too hot, not too cold. Add in the yeast and then we're going to also add in a little bit of sugar to help with the activation. And then once you add everything, mix and we're going to set this aside for about 5 minutes for the yeast to activate. And you will see some bubbles appearing on top and our yeast is now ready. And now it's time to add in our flour into the bowl. I'm using bread flour, add a little bit of salt on the side, add one egg. If you don't want the egg, you can leave it out. Add some melted butter and then we're going to add in our yeast and milk mixture. Add in and as soon as everything comes together, we're going to transfer our mixture into the kitchen counter. Make sure to put a little bit of dusting of flour just to make it easy. And then we're going to knead our flour for about five minutes. If you don't want to use your hands, you can use an electric uh, machine. But otherwise, using your hands is really great and it's really fun. You can do this with your little ones. Knead the dough for about five minutes. Sometimes when you're kneading bread, it can feel like the bread is sticky and all you want to do is add more flour but don't and if you've seen i like using this method you pull the dough apart and then you fold and do this couple of times the dough will eventually come together add a little bit of oil in your pants and then just apply on top and we're going to show shape our dough into little bowl and that's it we're going to set this aside don't forget to put a little bit of oil into the bowl as well and then we're going to cover this for about an hour up to an hour and a half or until it's doubled in size and now you can set this aside anywhere warm in the kitchen i like to place it in the microwave but make sure it, it, to turn it off and you can see our dough has risen and now it's time to shave our dough you can see it's super airy one thing i would advise you is especially when the dough has risen just handle it with care sometimes if you become a little bit rough it can deflate and become a flat so you just want to be very gentle and then we're going to dust a little bit of flour on top just to help help us manage and then let's go ahead and divide our dough you can get about 14 to 16 up to 20 uh, balls from this depending on the size you like you can make them super tiny medium size big sizes is your choice we are baking at home we are not factory so go ahead and you know enjoy making these rolls they're super delicious and you know what nothing is better than freshly baked bread that you've done at home so don't be scared i've had a lot of people say when they make bread they just scared it doesn't come out right but try this recipe guys you will not be disappointed and you can see to make the little balls you make your hand into a little c and keep rolling keep rolling and then at the end you just a little bit use like a scissors cut and then twist and that will give you a nice beautiful uh shape if they don't turn out completely circle who cares you are making yourself some fresh bread that you've done yourself so they don't have to be perfect i hope you guys are enjoying these recipes if you have don't forget to press the like button and if you're new to my channel guys don't forget to subscribe that shows me that you are liking this content that our rolls are all shaped it's time to arrange them into our pan i'm applying a little bit of oil just to ensure our uh, rolls will not stick so even though it says non-stick it's just nice to do that little bit of dusting of flour just to ensure we'll be able to eat this delicious bread rolls that we've put so much effort in now let's arrange them once we arrange our dough we're going to set this aside for about 15 to 20 minutes until it doubles in size in the meantime put your oven on and preheat the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we're going to brush our rolls with some milk you can see they have doubled in size you can also do an egg wash it will work the same let's bake 
our delicious bread rolls and you can see they're looking so beautiful the whole house smells like bread these bread you will love it guys it's super easy it is just amazing thing that you know you can make your own rolls at home and enjoy them now we're going to brush a little bit of olive oil on top it gives that little bit of shine you can do this method with a uh, butter you can do it with honey these bread rolls is your choice it's super versatile and if you've seen my last recipe chicken soup they will go really well with it so go ahead and make the chicken soup and serve with these bread rolls and you have yourself a delicious dinner that is super uh, warm and delicious i hope you guys are enjoying these recipes if you have don't forget to press the like button and if you're new to my channel guys don't forget to subscribe if you have any question do let me know in the comments below and i will be happy to i will uh, reply back to you guys and now let's have a look how how our bread rolls look they are super soft and you will see it in a minute let's just set them aside look at that guys you've just made yourself bread rolls that are super soft super delicious and you've done it so it's a lot of people say they're scared of baking guys don't be scared baking is super easy thank you for watching and until next time assalamu alaikum